Hi, my name's Alfie, and today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly how to use your R4 heads and R4 receiver. Right, so let's start with the R4 heads. First of all, in order to turn them on, you simply need to press the left-hand button for three seconds, and you'll be met with a rising tone and a green LED, as shown. In order to turn the R4 head off, simply repeat this process, but you will be met with a decreasing tone and a red LED. The mute functionality is also accessed by the power button on the alarm, and there are four available modes. Once you've turned your R4 head on, a single press of the power button will enable the LED with no sound, as you can see there. Another press will enable sound, but no LED. And a final press, which goes full covert mode, will be no LED or no sound, as you can see there. And to restore the R4 back to as it was on the fourth press and the fourth mode is LED and sound. In order to change the volume on your R4 head, simply press the single X button on the right of the head. There are eight volume options to choose from to suit your need. We can also change the tone of the R4 head and to do this, we need to simply hold down the power button and short press the X button at the same time. There are eight options available to suit your need. There are five sensitivity settings available on the R4 and to cycle through these, all you need to do is long press the X button on the right hand side of the alarm. Each bleep indicates what sensitivity setting you are on. One bleep meaning you're on sensitivity one, which is the most sensitive. Five bleeps meaning you're on sensitivity five, which is the least sensitive. The first sensitivity setting is your standard distance line movement sensitivity. Sensitivity two and three incorporate our speed sensing software as well as our revolutionary drift sensing software as well. And sensitivity settings four and five incorporate all of that as well as our wave sensing technology. For more information on all of this, please refer to your R4 manual. You can also change the LED color of your R4 head to suit your preference. And this is all done through the head itself. There are five colors available and also within those five colors, two levels of brightness. And to cycle through these, all you need to do is hold the function button, the X button, and then short press the power button. And as you see, you'll cycle through the five colors and the two different brightness levels that they offer. When using one of our Siren Night Glow bobbins or one of our Siren Night Glow strong arm indicators, you are able to illuminate these using the bobbin glow function. In order to enable this, you need to hold down both the power and function button at the same time for three seconds. When it's enabled, you will be met with two rising tones and the light on the bobbin will flash. To disable this, repeat the process, but you'll be met with two decreasing tones and the bobbin will not illuminate. revolutionary drift sensing technology which is enabled on sensitivity settings two to five is there for situations of line creep when your R4 head doesn't give you an audible or visual indication that your line is moving such as when weed has collected on the line and your line is slowly moving at a slower rate than your sensitivity is enabled to detect. In this instance if your R4 head has detected in excess of three meters of line movement going over the roller, then you'll be met with an alternating high-low sound that is repeated three times. In the event of a drop back or a slack line movement, you will notice three descending low tones which differ to that of a forward take. When the battery on your R4 head starts to run low, when you power on the alarm, you'll be met with five consecutive one-second bleeps, 
and that's when you'll know it's time to change the battery. In order to turn the R4 receiver on, simply hold down the power button on the left hand side and you'll be met with an ascending tone and green lights from moving left to right. In order to turn the R4 receiver off, repeat the process, hold down the power button for three seconds, but this time you'll be met with a descending tone and the lights will move in a red color from right to left. In order to pair your R4 alarm to your R4 receiver, first of all, make sure your R4 receiver is switched on and then simultaneously hold down the power and volume button until the first LED illuminates. Once this happens, sound the first R4 head and you'll be met with sound on the receiver to indicate that it has been paired. To move to the next alarm, simply single press the power button once, the LED will move over and you're ready to sound your second alarm. You can then repeat this process on the LEDs one to four. Once you've finished pairing all your alarms, simply hold down the power and volume button again until you hear a bleep. It's at this point, the R4 heads have been saved to the receiver. And when sounding the head, the relevant LED on the receiver will sound too. You also notice that there is a fifth LED on the R4 receiver. Now, this is the buddy channel where you're able to program your friends or partner's alarms into your receiver. Alternatively, you're able to program up to 32 individual R4 heads to this channel. To access this channel, very similar to how you paired the first heads, simply hold the power and volume button down until you see the first LED illuminate. At this point though, you then single press the volume button to access the fifth channel. You then pair your heads in exactly the same fashion as you would in any of the first four LEDs. Once you've sounded the alarm, to store this and save it to the receiver, simply hold the power and volume button down for three seconds and you'll hear a double bleep, meaning that that alarm is now paired to the fifth channel. If you're looking to erase any R4 alarms from your receiver, it couldn't be simpler. All you need to do is hold down the power and volume button on the receiver until you hear the first bleep. At this point, don't let go, continue to hold him down and then you'll be met with three bleeps and that means that the whole receiver has been erased of any R4 heads. At this point, you'll then have to repair the R4 heads accordingly. In order to change the volume of the R4 receiver, simply short press the volume button on the right hand side. You have the choice of eight volume settings. Now the tone that the R4 receiver emits is actually determined by the tone that you have set on the R4 head. Whatever tone you set on the R4 head will be the same tone that emits from the R4 receiver. This is exactly the same case for the LED color. Whatever LED color is on the alarm head will be the same color LED that you see on the receiver. Now the mute and vibrate settings are controlled using the V button found on the receiver. To cycle through the four modes that are available, simply hold the V button down for three seconds and you'll be presented with the different modes. This mode, for instance, is LED on, sound off, vibrate off. Hold it down again to change mode. And this time we have vibrate sound and LED on. Hold it down again. Just sound and LED. And the final time, vibrate and LED on. Those are the four different modes. In order to change the LED brightness on the receiver, there are two options available for each LED, a high and a low. And to change them, simply hold down the volume button and short press the power button to choose between the two brightness levels. In order to enable the anti-theft alarm, simply locate the A button on the receiver and hold it down. And if you're turning it on, you'll be met with an increasing tone of two bleeps. To turn it off, repeat the process, but this time you'll be met with a decreasing tone of two bleeps. Now the R4 heads feature a unique 
homecoming mode. And this means that there is an LED located on the rear of the alarm to guide you back to shore when you're out in a boat at night. The LED functions located on the back of each R4 head are controlled via the receiver. You have the option of selecting each individual head and whether the rear LED is enabled or disabled, or alternatively, you can choose the alarms that are paired on LEDs one to four to all illuminate together. In order to enable or disable the rear LED on an R4 head, first of all, you need to navigate to the R4 head in question. To do this, hold down the rear LED button, which is the light bulb on the R4 receiver, and short press the volume button. Here, you'll be able to navigate through the four LED options that correspond to the relevant head. Once you've found the relevant head, simply single press the rear LED button and you'll be presented with either a green to signal that the rear LED is on or single press again to be presented with a red LED indicating that the rear LED is disabled. You are also able to enable the rear LED of all alarms paired to channels one to four by following that process, but instead of selecting a single LED, wait until all four LEDs are illuminated and then you'll be able to toggle them on and off using the rear LED button. The R4 receiver continually self-diagnoses its battery levels every 30 minutes. When the battery does start to run low, you'll hear 10 consecutive one second bleeps and you'll also notice a red battery indication light. The R4 receiver comes supplied with an internal rechargeable battery, which is charged using the supplied USB-C cable. The battery should be fully charged before first use, and the LED status will be shown as amber when charging and green when fully charged.